Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Back up, back you up with the information that matters. Hey yo, check this out, man. Uh, where we at over here? Like, look, we done told you on a backup, right? Um, that ASAP Rocky and Riri secretly welcomed a brand new baby boy right, into this cursed world filled with taxes, races, gangster rap. Um, that's oh so addictive, all right? But that's besides the point. Roots legend Black Thought provided his thoughts on ASAP Rocky's Long Live ASAP album, and he stated, this is what he stated, he said, quote, this album, Long Live ASAP, ushered in a new era of New York hip hop. It's so braggadocious, it's so macho, it's so Harlem, but it's also genre transcendent. Close quote. Open it back up. He said, he, ASAP, was able to blur the line between a New York hip hop aesthetic, which was trending less at the time, and the aesthetic that was beginning to trend more. Classic UGK, 8 Ball, and MJG. Close quote. Uh, open it back up. He said, he was the bridge between dope and trill in a way that was very necessary. Close quote. Oh, wait. Open it back up. He said, New Yorkers who had creative blinders on and weren't able to see beyond two feet in front of them began to adopt a different perspective in their process. Rocky represents the beginning of that for me. Close quote. I, I guess it um, I guess it goes to say he really likes uh, Long Live ASAP. I guess I got to go listen to the album. See what it sounds like. You see what I'm saying? Cause, I mean, because Black Thought, like, you know what I mean? He's heavy with it. So whatever he's saying, man, that joint had to be heavy. <laughs> this dude right here. Oh, my gosh. You, you see what's coming out of Starbucks. You like what it look like? It look crazy. But um, anyway, look, 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 look. never mind all that. DJ Envy of the Breakfast Club has has a weird situation involving um, real estate and roughly over a million bucks. Okay. Uh, apparently, him and his business partner. I forgot the dude's name. Um, yeah, I don't remember the guy's name. You're like, well, why don't you look it up? Well, why don't you look it up? I don't feel like looking it up. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let me look it up. Uh, I'm over here giving you the news. I might as well give it to you full and proper. All right. Um, the guy's name is uh, Caesar Pina. 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 Cesar Pina. All right. They were sued for $1.5 million. You know what I'm saying? For an apartment complex that they were paid for, but the joint never came to fruition. Now, Joe Button has chimed in on DJ MV situation, and it ain't Gucci. Look, look, look. He said, he said, them ninjas is going to jail. I keep, I keep trying to keep it low. Envy and Caesar, I hope not. But this case, I got on my phone. Close quote. Uh, we don't wish jail on anybody. Um, hope, but we, I mean, come on. Like, hopefully that that's there's a misunderstanding. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? That man got kids. He got a kid that, uh, doesn't he got a kid that's going to college or something like that? I don't want that to be this situation. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I like listening to The Breakfast Club. I, I, I really do. Um, but yeah, we don't wish jail on anybody, man. But uh, let, let me roll up out of here. I, I feel like I'm, I want to get something to eat. Yo, uh, you know what you gonna eat? I think I'm gonna eat some waffles. Waffles with some uh, whipped cream on top of it, with uh, with like with like syrup on top. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat waffles very often, but when I do, I like it with cream, cream, um, whipped cream on top. Yeah, look, I like my. Well, let me keep it going. Uh, thanks for tuning in, to Celeb Source. Back up, back you up with the information that matters to you.